Hello everyone and welcome. It's Imogen. Um, so I've just done 24 Ks, but uh, welcome to what my what I'm doing today is the Grampians Peak Trail. So yeah, I'm currently 24 Ks into it, but the reason I decided to do it was, well, I want to do the 160K hike when it opens up, but that's probably, it's been postponed to like autumn next year. So I thought, why not just go and do the, the loop hike around Hall's Gap, like the three days, two nights one in one day. So that is what I'm currently doing. And so, yeah, I decided to film it as well and it's all going very well. And so just enjoy. Good morning. So I'm currently just woken up. I've lied here for about five minutes. It is now 3.40 and I've set my alarm for 3.50. And today I've decided I'm going to do the Grampians Peak Trail in a day. So the reason I'm waking up so early is because, well, my mum's just had a shower and I'm going to drop her off at work and then drive straight there. And it's a three and a half hour drive. So I hope to start at least before 8 30 so i have time to get back at a reasonable hour so i've set my alarm for 10 minutes time but i think i'm gonna get up now um and yeah i think i had a good sleep but it was a very short sleep i don't think i got to sleep till about midnight so i've got like four hours sleeping if that so not that great but i had a pretty restful day yesterday so i should be fine so yeah, now it's time to get ready. Okay, so now it is 4.30. I'm feeling a lot more awake and I've just dropped my off at work. And so now I'm off to Hall's Gap, uh, which is the start of the walk. Um, so it says I'll get there just before eight o'clock. Uh, I've packed everything and I'm all dressed. So yes, off for the drive now. Uh, woo! <laughs> Okay, so it is now about to go 8.30 and I've made it to the Halls Gap car park where the walk's about to start. Um, so yeah, it took me about four hours to get here. I had like two stops and so feeling pretty good. I was pretty tired this morning, but I'm feeling better now and the drive was quite long, but I enjoyed it. And so now I'm all set, ready to go and yeah, going to start walking now. <laughs> Okay, so I've started about five minutes ago and already within like five minutes, I'm going to start going with this. So the first half of this track is meant to be quite uphill, but then the second half is quite downhill. So that's kind of good, but yeah, here we go. It's going to be tough from the start, which will be fun. <laughs> Okay, so I am now 3Ks in, and I must say I'm currently already a little bit pooped, but that is okay. I just got a little bit lost, so I've catched my breath in that little lost bit, but I'm currently back on track, I think. So I'm now about 2Ks from the pinnacle, which would be good, and then from there, it's only like 30Ks to go. But it's so gorgeous here, so I'm really enjoying it, which is good. Anyway, better get back to it. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm 5Ks in and I made it to the Pinnacle Lookout. Um, I'm feeling actually pretty good now. Um, I've gone up about 700 metres in elevation. I meant to go up um, to 1,000 or something. So I don't know if I'm heading in that direction to that mountain over there. So currently it's quite windy and my eyes are tearing up, but I'm feeling pretty good. I'm actually really enjoying it. So really what I want to get out of it, I'm getting out of it. So it's awesome. So off I keep going. <laughs>
Okay, so I've made it to the first campsite for the night. I'm not really sure what time it is. I think it's like 10 o'clock or something. But I'm feeling really good actually and super a lot more fit than what I was for the Warby Trail, which I did like a month ago. So that's really good. I just ran to this campsite now and I think I've done almost 10k. So it's going pretty good. I'm enjoying this like a lot and it's really beautiful as well. So I'm just going to get something to eat probably here, have my first snack and have a toilet stop and everything. So yeah, it's going awesome. <laughs> okay, so I've just left the campsite. It is 10.20, I'll check the time. And I'm having my first snack, which is mushed rye beaters with avocado and tomato. That's because I made them last night and because I've been running and they've been squished in my bag. But anyway, uh, they still taste yummy. Well, probably not normally, but because I'm out hiking and hungry, it's amazing, food tastes so much better. So yeah, little update. Um, I think just coming up is like the steepest part of the trail which is going to be fun but then after that it's all downhill afterwards so i don't see how it's going to be that difficult this whole trail so that's it i think it might be steep downhill though but anyway that's where i am <laughs> Okay, so I've made it to the top of Mount Rossia. I must say I've been mucking around a bit. I've been uh, probably sitting around for the past half hour, but I'm going to get back into it. I've done 15 Ks and it's about probably midday now. I got here about 11.30 and so I've got 20 Ks to go uh, and I'm just enjoying this view. It's like really beautiful up here. So I'm just making the most of it because from here on, it's just like a really steep downhill. I'll show you that as you can see right now. And also, um, after that, I've just got to go around the lake, which I can see right now, and I'm showing you now. So I'm just going to go around that. I think that's, yeah, probably like 15 k's. And then that's it. So like, it's just been really beautiful, and I'm really enjoying it. And yeah, I'm just taking it all in. <laughs> okay, so now it's just, it's just after 12 o'clock, and I've run down about 2 k's real steep just then. That's why I'm pretty sweaty. But, um... Yeah, so I'm 5k's from the next um, campsite for the night and I've just hit the 18k mark, which means I'm over halfway. So yeah, it's going really well. I'm feeling really healthy and good, which is the main thing. But I think it's mostly just bush now. All the views are pretty much done because we're just going down, I think, for another further 2k's and that's pretty flat from then on. So, oh, I just... Keep it up. <laughs> okay, 
Okay, so I've now made it to the second campsite and it is about 1.30 I think and yeah, I feel pretty good after that. It was getting a bit boring though through the bush so I don't know, I'm going to go um, against the lake. I think it's about 13k Instagram maybe but no, I'm enjoying it but yeah, I'm just a bit like in that lazy mood at the moment. But yeah, I'll just have a little break here and then maybe I'll feel a bit better afterwards but yeah, everything's going really well and yeah, it was so beautiful up there and yeah, it's on the last sprint home pretty much now. <laughs> okay, so it's just gone one o'clock and I've started walking again. I just rest my leggies for about 20 minutes or so and had a bit to eat. So I've had like my first half of my lunch and I'm getting a bit tired now, but it's I'm, I'm still enjoying it. I think I'm getting back into the mood and swing of things. So, oh, um, yeah, so I think less than 15 k to go and yeah, I'm just going to enjoy the scenery. I don't think... I think it's meant to be more bushier and uh, maybe we'll see the lake or something from here, but we'll just see how it goes. But yeah, all going very well. Only 12 k's to go. Whew. Just over 10 k's to go. <laughs> ah, it's gone well. I'm happy. <laughs> I was quite wrong assuming that it was flat from the mountains as you can see behind me it is not flat and I've just gone up and down another hill behind me as well so oh this is a, it was a bit of a letdown really because it turns out the last day is all just the along the fire road so I couldn't even see the lake um for any of it it was all just um road and bush this is like the only part that I can see the lake, which is really lovely, but I was expecting to see the mountains and like walk along them, but oh, it's uh, I say it's probably the hardest um, part yet. And uh, I'm getting, I'm starting to feel a bit uh, fatigued, but it's going pretty well. I think it's about seven Ks maybe to go or something, but I'm not too fast about that. I'm just embracing it and enjoying the moment, which is really good. So yeah, that is my current update. <laughs> as well celebrate, I just hit the 30K mark. <laughs> okay so i'm just gonna give a little update it's all going well i'm just my legs are a bit sore now but everything else is fine i'm just uh i can see the mountain where i was up just there mount rossia or maybe it's the pinnacle i don't know but um, yeah, I would have been up there just a few hours ago and now I can finally see it, which is lovely to think how far I've come around, which is nice. Um, yeah, but not too long to go. I think within the hour I should be back at the car. So, oh, it's all going quite well. <laughs> I think only two kilometers to go. Oh, what a pity. I made it to the sign where it says it's 2.1 k's to Hall's Gap, which is kind of sad because I'm actually getting a lot more energy now and feeling pretty good, but also kind of happy because I've got a three and a half hour drive home. So it's probably best that it's finishing soon. So yeah, two kilometers. I think most of it is like pretty downhill and flat, I'm thinking, but I've been caught out before as you saw so who knows but i think i have been jogging for the past like whoa, two or three k's so i think i might just keep jogging and yeah i'll be over before i know it it seems so yeah let's get to it <laughs> Hey, 
I finally finished it. So it only took me like, I think just under seven hours all up, including breaks and everything. So it was really good. My legs were a bit sore now, but yeah, I ended up doing 37 kilometers. So it was, yeah, a pretty good effort, I think. I really enjoyed it and I feel super, like a lot better than what I did after the Warby Trail. And so I feel like I'm getting fitter and I really enjoyed the mountains. The last 20Ks was like, no, not 20Ks, like last 10Ks along the lake and through the fire. That was kind of boring, but it was ups and downs. Like I was feeling good and wasn't, it was just, that's all the fun of it. So off, I think I'm gonna go to Mackenzie Falls now and probably. Okay, so it's quarter to nine at night and I finally made it home. I'm a little bit tired, I must say. The drive home was not as long as I thought. It was actually all right. Just had one stop at McDonald's, got food, and I felt so much better after it. I don't know if I didn't get food, I probably would not be here right now. So, yeah, all up, today was really good and I'm feeling so much better for it, even though my legs are a bit tired and I'm, I'm tired just in general. It was a really good day and I loved it and hope to do something similar very soon. <laughs> Thanks for watching.